Hi everyone, in today's video we're taking a look at the top 12 features of Samsung's One UI 5.1. Timestamps will be down in the description. Let's jump right into it. The first new feature that we have with Samsung's One UI 5.1 are new battery widgets. So we have two new ones available to us. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we access them. We go ahead and pinch in here. Uh, go into widgets. And right here we have battery. We have both widgets available. Let's go ahead and go back to our screen. So what this will do is show all your Samsung related connected devices. You have this device here, as well as my Watch 5 Pro, as well as the S Pen. And if we grab the uh, Galaxy Buds Pro here and open these up, you'll see we now have the percentage of the Galaxy Buds Pro as well. So a great way to track all of your Samsung products that you have in your Samsung ecosystem right on your Galaxy device. The next cool feature that we have is an object selector inside the gallery application. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Go ahead and open up your gallery. You're going to want to pick an image that you have an object inside of it that you want to select outside of your image. Here, it'll make more sense when we open one up. So here we have a little Android doll here. So what I'll do is just press and hold it. You'll hear a little vibration when it's done and you just move it around. That's confirmation of what object you've selected. And now when you let go, you have the option to copy share and save the image uh, so you can share it if you want to just grab a picture of your kids or a picture of your car outside of the rest of the image shoot it off in a text message for me as a content creator it's awesome to save it as an image because now i'll have a transparent background and i can use this as a thumbnail super awesome feature new to one ui 5.1 the next feature i want to talk about while we're here in the gallery application is if you swipe up on an image or a video you will get more additional image or video metadata. So you'll get the actual device that took the image or the video. You also get more verbose information about the file details as well. This is new to One UI 5.1. We usually only have the top information here, but now we have both sets of data. The next feature I want to talk about is setting wallpapers for each of your unique modes inside of modes and routines. So to access that, you're going to want to go into your settings, scroll down until you get to modes and routines, Click on modes, and then you're gonna to wanna to pick on any one of the modes that you wanna adjust the wallpaper for. So let's go ahead and adjust our nighttime wallpaper here, sleep. And once you have your sleep routine set up, the last step it'll ask you in the wizard is to set your wallpaper. And you can come back here and adjust this at any time as well. This is new for One UI 5.1, so you can set up a custom wallpaper for both your main display and your lock screen for each individual mode that you have set up on your Galaxy device. Another cool feature that we have, if we open up our camera application and we go over here to more, we now have Expert Raw included right in our more settings. So if we click on this, the first time you do it, it's going to prompt you to install it if you don't already have it installed on your device. But once you do, it'll take you directly to the Expert Raw app, which is a more professional style application. All right, the next feature I want to talk about that's included in One UI 5.1 is the ability to change the storage location for your screenshots and your screen recordings. Let's go ahead and take a look at where you can adjust that. Swipe down to go to your settings toggles. You're gonna to swipe over till you get to screen recorder. Go ahead and click on that. And then you're gonna click on details. And right here we have save screenshots in and we can now change our folder. So if you don't like it in the screenshots folder, you can change it to my documents or any other folder that you wanna save them off to. Also new in One UI 5.1 is some additional tracking in the digital well-being application. We now have some walking tracking, a walking monitor. Let's take a look at this real quick. Let's go into our settings. All right, we're going to go down until we get to digital well-being and parental controls. You're going to want to go ahead and pick that. If you scroll down a little bit, you're going to go past driving monitor till you see walking monitor. So now you have the ability to actually track your walking activities. I'm not sure how useful this is. I'm not sure who would be looking at this data, but now you have this data available to you. So if you want to track your walking and what you're doing while you're walking, like tracking your applications, you have the ability to do it now in digital well-being. Another new cool feature with One UI 5.1 is the ability to change the color temperature right on the main screen instead of going into the settings. So what you do is you click on the top right most icon and you're going to have an option for color tone and down at the bottom you'll see natural and warm. I prefer warm. Pick whatever one you like. Another new feature with One UI 5.1 is the ability to snap back up a pop-up window back up to full size. Before you had to uh, select an arrow to maximize it and I'll show you what I mean. So let's go ahead and open up the Play Store. 
This one's a little tricky to implement. Let's see if I can do it here. So we want to swipe in from the top right corner to bring it into a small view. There we go. And now you have to grab it just by the corner and kind of fling it up towards the top. Let's see if we can do it here. So a quick way to easily go back to maximize mode without having to press the little arrows. So the last thing I want to show you with One UI 5.1 is a new Bixby Vision widget. And this one's actually pretty cool. Let's take a look at it. So let's add it to our screen real quick. Go to widgets. All right, Bixby Vision, here we go. And I'm going to add this four by one widget right here. Okay. All right, so let's say we want to pick some text out of something we're looking at out in the open world. So I've got my Tab S8 Ultra sitting over here with some notes for this video. So I'm going to go ahead and hit text. I'm going to point it at the Tab S8 Ultra and it's going to let me select and highlight some of the text. And I can copy it out, copy it to text messages, whatever I want to do with it. You have four different options here for the Bixby Vision widget. Pretty cool new feature added here to One UI 5.1. All right, this is a top 12 features added to Samsung's One UI 5.1. If you have any comments or suggestions for another video, please drop those down in the comments section as well. And as always, thanks for watching.